why Bill Walsh wouldn't want either of the Niners quarterbacks. This may seem a little harsh. I like Nick Mullins, but you know Bill Walsh extremely well, knew him. And these are not his kind of quarterbacks, are they, Dad? Uh, no, he would not want either one. Look, for starters, I'm speaking not. for a dead guy. But yeah. yeah, I'm speaking for a dead guy. Yeah. But okay, I'm, I'm trying to. Uh, Sorry. Okay. They're not good enough. But in addition, when you think about the Niners quarterbacks that he liked, Joe, Steve, and he liked Garcia. Love them. They could all move. Okay. Now, Joe was not a runner, let's say, like uh, Kaepernick. Yeah. But he was actually a quarterback as opposed to Kaepernick. But he, Joe could run. He scrambled. Uh, yeah. And the, the catch, he ran right. Yes. See if we know could run. They had to uh, bring him down to not run as much. And uh, Garcia could really run, love to, and could throw on the run. So Bill used to talk to me about platforms, platform yep. quarterbacks. They yes. stood like a platform. He didn't like them. He no. liked quarterbacks who could move. So aside from the fact that Jimmy and Nick would not be good enough, would not do things well enough for Bill, neither can move to the way he would have needed it. And it's like, it's, it's uh, the same thing with, with fighters, right? Because you guys both like boxers. You wouldn't be drawn to a lead-footed boxer. He's not nimble enough. You would like guys like Sugar Ray Leonard who could actually move, right? Well, look what Leonard did to Thomas Hearns. He jabbed and moved and jabbed and moved. And Hearns was knocking everybody out, couldn't land the big punch, and then Leonard knocked him out. Okay. You want to have some movement. Okay. I was buying a little time. I got some stats for you, all right? Jeff Garcia. He played 71 games for the Niners, five seasons. He rushed for uh, 1,500 yards. He rushed for um, 21 touchdowns and 118 first downs. All right? That's valuable. Compare that to Jimmy Garoppolo, who's played 32 games, 30 games with the Niners, rushed for 131 yards, two touchdowns, uh, 22 first downs. That's not, a, that's not good enough, unless, unless you're Peyton Manning. Right. I, I, I agree. And it makes you think that he's a platform, a statue, can't really protect himself, and can't make things happen when they break down. Limited. Garcia, limited. Yes. Jeff, I mean, like, Jeff Garcia would run for about two first downs a game. That That's valuable. That's valuable. Nick Mullins can do that, too. I'd like to see him do that. He's forcing passes into coverage while he's – got running lanes. Jimmy Garoppolo used to run, but then he tore his ACL. And then I think since then he's been a little bit of in self-preservation mode. I guess I don't blame him, but Bill wouldn't want a guy like that. Bill wanted dynamic athletes. And I keep going back to Jeff Garcia. That's what he's looking for. Guys who can really move, not guys who are just going to stand in the pocket and try to be like Tom Brady. Cause you're not going to be like Tom Brady. You're not even Tom Brady. Can't be like Tom Brady this year. He's really struggling. He can't be Tom Brady anymore. He can't be Tom Brady. I got a stat. The Niners this season have their quarterbacks, all of them, have scrambled five times in 12 games. That's pretty bad, especially the way the league has evolved. Yes. And while Bill Walsh was really a stickler on pocket, throwing from the pocket and learning how to do all of that, he still wanted guys who could do something more. Yes. I want to say another thing about Jimmy. We talk, will he be the quarterback next season, et cetera? Here's what I would like to think. Yes. I would hope maybe he'll be the quarterback next year by default because they don't have anyone else. I would hate to think he'd be their quarterback in two seasons from now. I don't think he's good enough. I think he's holding him back. So he may have to be the quarterback next season, but it maybe not. But in two seasons from now, they got to have somebody else. Good call. All right, let's move to the final topic before we take some questions. The bet. If you guys don't remember – my dad and I have a very nice bottle of Chianti riding on whether the Niners make the playoffs. So it's looking I, nine and seven. You said nine, nine and seven. seven, nine and seven. So I got to shoot the moon here. Niners got to win the rest of their games. And if they do, I get a nice Chianti, but more likely I'll be returning the favor. My dad recently gave me a really nice Zin, which we haven't drank yet. So I just want up to update you guys on the bet. Well, I want to tell you, um, I'm not usually a bragger. <laughs> I'm a humble guy. Iggy, I'm going to really enjoy that that because oh. you don't stand a chance. I'll tell you, even if the Niners were good, and they're, they're not, um, they would get knocked off once in the next few games. They would get they're going to they would get knocked off once. Now they, there's no question they they're going to get knocked off once, maybe more than once. 
So okay, here's, here's what I got to say to you. I want to finish. Okay. It's not a just a Chianti. It's a Reserva. Oh, Reserva. You hear yeah. that, guys? All right, so here's the thing. When the 49ers win their next four games, all right, <laughs> when they go to the playoffs and run the table, go to the Super Bowl and win it, when I sit down to write – the book of the most remarkable Super Bowl winning season of all time. The first chapter is going to be called the Chianti Reserva. I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm starting at the Chianti Reserva. That's where I'm starting. So, hey, you count those chickens right now, but I already got, I already got my intro, my intro chapter to the, to the greatest Super Bowl season of all time.